Right, so there's a little setup I've got uh, in my yard. Um, booster pump, everything like that. Now what happens is, it's got a float switch on there, so it's not a problem. So the water goes through the little RO, through the DI, goes out there, float switch tells it off. But I've got no way of um, tracking what the TDS is. So what I've got, just about to show you here, is I picked up one of these <clears throat> inline TDS meter. Uh, they're very simple, really. You've got two T's, both say in and out. I should have um, explained this one. You just push in the top, and what's actually got to happen? They've got two little th like thongs on them, and when you look down the side there, you need to show the thongs are like that. So when the water passes, it has a reading. And if you see, one's got in and one's got out. And what actually happens is, the in goes just after the 40-40 um, or 40-20, whichever way you've got, just before the DI, right? So you can see what the water is before it goes to the DI. And then this one is what's going to your tank. Uh, mine's going to the IBC, so I know what it is. All I'll do is I'll connect them and uh, show you how it all fits. All fitted now, if you have a look, there's the in, just after the um, membrane, the RO, and uh, just down about there, and you can see it, just there, there's the out, that's just after the DI, sorry it's a bit noisy at the moment, but uh, I've got the old pump in, to the tank up now, uh, and it's really simple to use, just turn on, uh, that's what's going in at the moment, to the DI, so out the RO, coming out the RO now at 12 look and it's going it's coming out the DI at 8 uh, that'll be fine at the moment uh, I'll leave that a couple more before I change that that'll be absolutely fine so uh, really simple very handy when you uh, in a situation like I am when you've got IBC tanks right up um, you know 10 foot up in the air and get a pair of steps all the time just to keep filling it up so comes out great.